Now this video is going to be for people that like Air Jordan 1 highs that, you know, probably over the past couple of years have had a lot of trouble copying them when they came out because the hype for them was really, really huge. A lot of them were really, really hard to get and we took a lot of L's on, you know, a lot of Jordan 1s. But now the market for the Air Jordan 1 is down. A lot of sneakers that are being released are pretty much breaking out, you know what I mean? Not really going for a whole lot. So in today's video, I'm going to give you my top five best, most affordable Air Jordan 1s that you could pick up right now for the summertime or just your everyday collection. Now this list is subjective and it's just my top five sneakers. It's not in any particular order, so let's just get right into it. Now starting out on the list, I'm going to talk about the Air Jordan 1 Stage Haze that just dropped. Now this sneaker right here is a very nice simple black, white, and gray colorway. It does have a little bit of hits of coral pink on it and I think that that's why some people were kind of turned off by it. But if you look at the sneaker market, a lot of the Air Jordan 1 lows and the Air Jordan 1 mids and basically almost the same kind of colorways are going for almost as much as these out on the resale market right now and in some cases even more. Uh, you know, it didn't really have like a lot of fanfare or anything like that, but this sneaker right here, I guarantee you, uh, even though if you're not like the biggest fan of like the cracked leather on this, um, this is going to look great for summertime. It's going to match a lot of outfits and it's really only going for around 200 bucks right now. So I think that this is a great pickup if you like black, white, and gray. Now moving on to the next sneaker on our list, we have the Air Jordan 1 High Heritage. Now these just recently released. And uh, this one kind of bricked out as well. Uh, it's just a basic red, white, and black colorway. And I know it reminds a lot of people of the Travis Scott One High Fragments that came out last year because the color blocking is basically the same. But guys, this is basically a bread inverted. So wherever there was black on that sneaker, there's white on this. I personally have this sneaker. It's really, really nice. It matches a lot of things really, really great. This is going to be great for the summer. I actually think a lot of people will probably circle back later on in the fall when they eventually take their L's in the Chicago's. This is going to be more of like a consolation prize. Uh, right now, these are going for like retail and in some cases even below retail. Um, these are definitely affordable and probably a sneaker that I think you will really, really like. Up next, we have the Air Jordan 1 High Marina Blues. Now, this was another kind of forgotten Air Jordan 1 that not a lot of people were really feeling. These kind of sat around for a little bit. They obviously did sell out. I have seen some restocks uh, multiple times when it comes to this sneaker, but this is another one that's really affordable, going for pretty much like retail and maybe plus shipping, maybe in the low 200s and the bigger sizes. These really aren't going for much. And this is a very nice colorway. The leather on it is very similar to a lot of the Air Jordan ones that came out over the past like six to eight months. It's great leather, but not like the best leather in the world or anything like that. But this colorway right here is definitely fire. If you haven't picked this sneaker up, um, these look great on feet. I've seen these in person numerous times. And every time I see them in person, I definitely want to hurry up and buy a pair. Um, you know, if you already have the Royals, you probably don't need these, but if you don't have those, these are probably a must cop if you like blue Air Jordan 1s. Like I said, guys, these are definitely affordable, and if you're looking for a blue and black sneaker for the summertime, this might be a great cop for you. The next Air Jordan 1 that I want to talk about, I'm a little bit biased towards because it's a black and yellow sneaker, and that's going to be the Air Jordan 1 High Pollens. Now, I've bought several pairs of these just because, you know, I'm a Pittsburgh guy, I'm a Steeler fan, I'm a Pirate fan, I'm a Penguin fan, and this is going to match pretty much every time I wear, a, you know, a Steeler jersey or something like that. So, I wear one pair and I got two socked away for like the future, you know what I mean? So, I'm future proofed here. Now, this is a sneaker that's pretty much been bricked out, it's kind of been sitting at like that low 200 range for quite a while. Uh, there were a lot of pairs of these out on the market so it's definitely affected like where the resale market is but the whole sneaker market in general is down and the Air Jordan 1 high is definitely not having as much hype and you know what I mean like they're sitting around a lot longer than they used to but this colorway right here is fire the leather is pretty decent on it um, it's a sneaker that I particularly love like I said I'm a little bit biased but guys we're gonna be seeing the yellow toes drop in August and that's a very hype sneaker probably going to be really, really tough to get. I do see people probably circling back to pick up these pollens, you know, if they catch an L whenever the yellow toes drop. So I do think that these will probably go up in value a little bit. So um, if this is a sneaker that you probably, you know, are on the fence about or maybe been thinking about, the time to buy these might be really, really soon. Now for the final sneaker that I want to talk about, I really for the life of me can't figure out why these have worked as hard as they really have. And that's the Air Jordan 1 Rebellionaires. Now, in my personal opinion, I really love the shadows, and this is basically just a shadow colorway, but it does have like a lot of writing on here, and I do see that some people don't like, you know, it's too busy. You do get the band X on the back, and these are going for like 
just a few dollars over retail. You know what I mean? 200 bucks at the most. You could probably get a deal on it if you make an offer on eBay or Goat or something like that and pick these up. I think this sneaker right here, a lot of people are gonna regret not picking this up when it was affordable. Uh, if you look back at the 2018 shadows, that was basically a brick. They were in Nike outlets, you know, for whatever reason, you know what I mean? Now that's a five or $600 shoe. This sneaker is definitely gonna go up in value and I would buy these now while they're cheap. You know what I mean? Rather than wait until later and kind of regretting that you didn't pick them up or even worse, go out and pay five or $600 for these. This is a sneaker that I have two pairs of um, and I'm gonna be keeping both of them in my collection. Uh, one to rock and one to stock away for the future. Um, if this is a sneaker that you've been thinking about, I would probably think about picking it up as soon as you can. Right now, the whole sneaker market is down. It is a buyer's market right now. And this Air Jordan 1 Rebellioner is definitely a sneaker that I think you should consider picking up for the summertime or for a long-term part of your collection. But guys, these five sneakers, this is my list. You know what I mean? This is what I think is the best five cheap sneakers in the Jordan 1 product line currently today. It's subjective. You know what I mean? If you have a different top five for affordable Air Jordan 1s, uh, you can leave a comment down below. I'm really interested to see what you guys think or, you know, what is your top five? But other than that, guys, I'd like to thank you all for your time. Thank you for stopping over here to check out another one of my videos. I really do appreciate you all. And until next video, peace.